Now that we have covered the basics of privileges and roles, we will take this opportunity to build on our knowledge of this topic. Let's shift our attention to hierarchical privileges using groups and schemas. Previously, we covered schemas as a database object that can be used as a named container for database objects such as tables. Granting privileges specific to different schemas in a database can be used to easily control access to multiple objects simultaneously. Imagine this scenario. Your spouse is quite impressed with how well you've been managing your finances recently and would like to be able to do the same with her specific finances. All tables in the finances database have been created in the public schema to date. But while certain finances are shared between you and your spouse, you have individual accounts as well such that it makes sense to maintain them separately in the database. You decide to manage the individual accounts in two separate schemas. One will be named the Me Schema, and the other will be named the Spouse Schema. After creating these schemas, using the familiar command seen here as the database super user, you add the account table and all other tables that existed under their public schema to these new schemas. Next, a new user account is created for your spouse named Better underscore Half. The new user account must be granted usage privileges on the spouse schema in order to access it. You can then give the familiar privileges to the better underscore half account for these schemas. You also give privileges to this account for the public schema, but give no access privileges for the better underscore half account to the me schema. You execute similar commands for the fin user account, giving access to the public and me schemas. With this arrangement, both you and your spouse can maintain your finances using PostgreSQL, with access only being shared where necessary. It might become tedious to continuously grant the same set of privileges to a group of similar database users. While a user is a type of role in PostgreSQL that is typically associated to an individual, the group role provides a way for managing privileges for groups of individual users. This might prove useful when multiple users should be given the same privileges for access to database objects. Rather than just creating an account for your spouse, other members of your family might want to access the database as well. In this case, a family group can be created. A set of privileges can then be granted to the family group such as insert, update, delete, and select on a database table or schema. Here the family group is given select, insert, update, and delete privileges on all tables in the public schema. Then individual user accounts can be added to the newly created group. Here both fin and better underscore half are added to the family group. Alternatively, we can add both users to the family group using a single command in a comma-separated list of users. Using either approach, these users would then inherit the privileges from the group without the need to individually grant these privileges. With such a setup, the family group can be given access to all tables in the public schema. Each family member could then have a schema of their own for maintaining their individual financial data. It should be clear by now that hierarchical privileges can enable some rather sophisticated database access configurations. Let's take this opportunity to practice what we just learned. 